Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mihai, or How to Live, as you all know me. And today we will build a postmodernism style apartment. It's something extraordinarily new, something I've never done before, and uh, I thought it, wa it was a super interesting idea. I was inspired from uh, by this girl from YouTube named Simsphony, who I think is the first to build something in this style. I really suggest you to go to her YouTube channel and see what she's doing because she's wonderful, she's super talented, and uh, she has some very creative ideas. Thanks a lot for the inspiration, seems funny, and I hope if you see this you will be proud of what I did. I also decided to make this video after I asked you on YouTube that uh, what you should like, what you would like me to build next time, and uh, you answered a postmodernism apartment. I can uh, say that I was hoping to answer you to answer that because I really wanted to approach this totally new style for me. And uh, let me tell you about a little about this postmodernist interior design. Um, today, the postmodern color palette includes a mix of natural and retro shades like avocado green, mustard, burnt orange, turquoise, and even metallic tones. But if another color inspires you, then by all means go for it. For example, I added a lot of this uh, baby pink and pink color because I saw that on uh, Sims Funny video and I thought, okay, this is great, I will, I will try this. Um, I want to say that pink is not my color, I absolutely hate pink, but in this video I'm really shocked of what came out, so um, now I, I have to reconsider. <laughs> when it comes to textures and materials uh, for the um, uh, postmodernism um, design uh, chunky needs and natural wood grains uh, can be used to add warmth and charm to a postmodern room uh, like i don't know lush, lush materials like velvet and fur are also welcome but the key to texture in postmodern design is layering so go for it this style became popular in the 60s and is stay popular till 90s, but it has a huge comeback right now. I think that I could have be more bold with the crazy colors for this video, but I'm pretty proud of what it came out because I had like 10 different pictures for inspiration and I had to improvise a lot. This beautiful style was influenced by the art pop or pop art. Uh, as you know, uh, and, and it was a, rebelli a rebellious idea, something like that. I'm not used to design apartments because I like architecture too and I like to make a beautiful exterior too, but since I don't have so much time lately I decided to make a small video and uh, I hope you'll enjoy this. The idea that seemed uh, to make a huge difference in this living room was the black and white tile on the edge. That was my idea and I'm super proud of that. I think I managed to make layers, yeah. And uh, in the end, as you can see, I couldn't help but start adding a lot of flowers because I'm crazy. Or as my friends would say, un poco loco. <laughs> I would. Uh, uh, I don't know if I did well in adding so many flowers, but who cares? Flowers are um, literally everything. I really like that this living room came out very uh, lively and warm. Uh, I would never have used these colors, but looking now, I think they are great. Don't ask me what's with those plates that I added on the wall. Uh, I don't know either. That's just how it came out to me. By the way, thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support. You recently saw that I made 10,000 followers on Instagram and this is wonderful. I am uh, I'm overwhelmed. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and I'm also waiting for your comments because I'm very very curious to see what you think about this. I also posted on Instagram today some pictures of the apartment I moved to in case you are interested. It's not a big deal but that's exactly what I need and uh, I want to tell you that I love living alone. I think it's the best thing ever. Uh, but uh, regarding to this kitchen, 
in this apartment I think it looks so cute in fact it seems to me that it looks small and chic exactly uh, how kitchen apartments should look like here I wanted to offer continuity from the living room and I used basically the same materials and colors only I gave a slightly darker vibe also because there is not as much light as in the living room where there are, there are many large windows um, yeah I'm going to stop here but I want to hug you and uh, wish you all a happy spring and get rid of this damn cold once and for all and let the summer begin um, spring and then summer but uh, you know, anyway uh, see you next time don't forget to love yourself and have a great day and bye
Feeling like this might be my time to shine with you 